Well, it's hard to imagine how anyone could do it, but a black swan has been beheaded and dumped in a suburban park. A walker found the dead bird near a playground this morning, and we warn some images in our report might be distressing. Council workers removed the bird's body from a bin close to a children's playground. All right, all done. The gruesome discovery was made by a man walking his dog at the Stirling Civic Gardens about seven this morning. He found the dead black swan near the water's edge. Its head was lying a few metres away. I teared up a bit and, you know, I was really concerned um, to think that actually someone to do something like that. Lee Locke says they visit the park often and the swan is a regular attraction. This is a photo of the bird taken a few months earlier. Everyone that uses the park, whether it's the kids or people walking there and you know, their dogs or you know people that train here would know the swan because it's a part of the park. When council workers came to investigate, they could only find the head. It wasn't until a few hours later a Nine News cameraman found the body in this bin. We're all shocked and we're actually stunned to see that something as cruel as that has happened right across the road from our city officers. Absolutely shocked. The City of Stirling says this is a very popular park. They say it's well lit with 24-hour security but no CCTV. And I've lived in the area all my life and it's the first time ever that I've seen anything so cruel happen. And the RSPCA is investigating the death of the swan tonight and the culprits face big fines. Mia Brankoff, what's the latest? Well, Tim, initial reports suggested that a fox may have attacked the bird, but a vet has confirmed to Nine News that it was hacked to death. The RSPCA is investigating. They obviously want to know exactly what happened to the bird and if animal cruelty was involved. Anyone that may be charged if, is facing five years behind bars and a $50,000 fine. The police are likely to get involved soon too, Tim.